in the first week of February. From the 9th to the 11th of February, I'll be at Fully Charged, or it's now called Electrify Everything in Australia, in Sydney. I'll be doing a few sessions there, live sessions, and I'd love to see you. But even more important than that, guys, whether or not you want to see me or just see some other people or just see electric cars and electric technology, it's going to be an amazing show. If you want to get tickets there, you should. You should go see it. They're 20% off if you use my promo code. I will put my promo code in the description below. So you can click on the link, jump on, get 20% off your tickets. Now that 20% discount applies to all ticket types. So not one type, but all ticket types and all days. A lot of people say to me, hey, you know what, Sam? It doesn't matter if we're all driving EVs because the roads are full of internal combustion engine vehicles. They're polluting everything. They're killing us causing cancer, causing all these kinds of diseases we're getting. There's nothing we can do. I mean, there's so many gasoline, diesel-powered, terrible toxic machines on the roads. What are we going to do about it? Well, one company is doing something incredible. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. This company is converting internal combustion engine vehicles or gasoline, petrol, diesel cars into EVs in a single day. I mean, a single day. I didn't think this would be humanly possible, but apparently it is. Now, eRevolt say they've been able to cut down conversion times and prices drastically from weeks to a single day. You can imagine being able to do this in a single day is going to mean it's a lot cheaper and makes a lot more sense. It is a bit sad that so many internal combustion engine vehicles get thrown out because they're just not considered worthwhile anymore. And it's a bit sad that so many of them are so crappy because their engines suck big time. And it's true. A lot of them really aren't very good. But there's so many vehicles that I just think it shouldn't get thrown out. Or uh, there's so many vehicles that have terrible technology and they the experience of the owners would be so much nicer if they didn't have some really poopy old slow diesel engine if their vehicles were electric it could extend their lives make them cleaner and make them much better to drive not to mention you can use your electric car in this case to power your house so it could be used for energy storage as well converting a fuel car to a fully electric car in 24 hours doesn't sound realistic, but eRevolt says that's what it can do. This is a German company, and people are saying they're doing some pretty amazing work. Normally, this conversion process takes a very long time, you know, one, two, even three weeks, depending on what's involved. But with the conversion time of a single day, eRevolt curbs the addition of 30 tons of CO2 in the air. They say they provide an electric range of 250 kilometers, about 155 miles, and 100% insurance coverage post-upgrade. Our technology allows you to upgrade your existing car to your fully digital electric dream car. Your upgraded vehicle will be battery electric, fully connected, and equipped with state-of-the-art digital interfaces, said Stefan, self-shop CEO of eRevolt, on the company's website. This sounds almost too good to be true. So they're not just changing the battery. They're revolutionizing your vehicle. They're kind of turning it into a, what I like to call, well, what a lot of people call a resto mod. So this would be amazing for old vehicles. I've seen some incredible old vehicles with uh, conversions to it being electric, and it just totally transforms the way the car drives. And the company also says it believes it's reusing materials in its upgrades and conversions, leading to a more sustainable and resource efficient approach. They said this, the production of new road vehicles not only generates significant greenhouse gas emissions, but also depletes a range of resources. From the extraction of rare minerals to the clearing of forests for mining activities, the environmental impact is enormous. So what do they do? How are they doing this? The team conducts an online verification and physical inspection of the vehicle status to confirm its eligibility for the upgrade. Then there is a meticulous removal of the old engine, 
and redundant components. I don't think it'll be that meticulous. They say it is, but I imagine to do this in a day, they, they'd probably get rid of it pretty quickly. These parts are repurposed, they say, or responsibly recycled. After that point, after the engine has been removed, the company will replace the combustion engine with a frame designed to use the existing engine points. Upgraded the car also means bringing the vehicle to a modern digital state, they say. The new infotainment system gives the passengers full access to EV functions, such as remaining range and charging control. So they're going to actually install a screen in your car as well to serve as this new digital sort of infotainment media system. Following the conversion process, an independent agency conducts a final quality check to ensure that it adheres to all the engineering standards that are necessary. The converter vehicle, now fully digitized and electric, is ready for its second life after only 24 hour conversion period. What kind of batteries are they using? Well, as far as I can tell, it's a lithium ternary battery pack, so a nickel cobalt manganese battery pack, which is of unknown origin. The company don't disclose where they get the battery cells from, who manufactures them, probably CATL. I mean, they're going to get the cheapest batteries, the most, the biggest number of battery cells available would come from CATL. So that's the most likely CATL, of course, Chinese company, biggest battery company in the world. But the truth is, I don't actually know who makes the cells. I don't know much about the battery packs. I don't know much about the motors. That information wasn't easy to find. So I do have some kind of uh, concerns here. You probably want to know exactly what is the battery pack size, what are the motors, etc. before making this decision. But either way here, this is one of many companies now who are doing conversions from an internal combustion car to an EV. And I can see in the future, it's going to be a lot of sports cars, a lot of old cars that people just love. And they're going to say, you know what? This thing's a, it's, I love it, but it's really a bucket of junk. Let's make it, let's make it beautiful to drive. Let's make it modern. Let's make it new, but still retain that old classic style. That's what you can do with an EV conversion. And now the prices for those EV conversions have come down significantly as the aftermarket are providing motors and conversion kits at a much lower price than what they used to. Thank you for watching.